Oh, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, we are going to be making a tier list on the top swords that you can obtain from minions. So, basically, any of the swords which you receive from collections basically, the pigment sword, the leaping sword, the emerald blade. There's a lot of other ones, but those are the most common so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this video is a lot different than normal. First of all, obviously, we got a face cam going, and I try my best to make it as best I possibly can. I literally have two lights behind me, and uh, I look super white. I have a green screen behind me which I'm probably going to struggle making like invisible and seeing through and completely transparent, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, but yeah, I've recorded this video about three times right now. I literally just made this video a second ago, which you guys can see right here. And this video had no audio. I realized that when I started re-recording that the video had no audio. And then I also made it yesterday, which is right here. And during this video the, you guys can tell the lighting is just horrible and it's just super bad. And it was really, yo, that is the worst freeze frame ever please get that off my screen but uh basically the lighting was terrible so i'm really trying to get this face cam down i'm doing a horrible job but if you guys do enjoy videos like this with like irl and stuff like that still talking about skyblog of course but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure you guys go down below and hit that like button let me know that you guys want to see more of these videos now one more thing that i want to cover real quick so that people don't say i'm copying basically this person from first place frags made a forum post and did the exact same thing and i got really annoyed with this not because he's copying or anything I didn't even post the video, but I feel like people are going to say that I'm copying. So I'm not copying this person. I even talked to Bumble Tricks uh, like literally yesterday about making this video. So uh, I guess it was just a really big coincidence. It's also a little bit different than what his video is, but I, I just don't want to be accused of copying because I'm really against that. And I always give credit to other people when I get my ideas from them. I actually got this idea specifically from somebody in the comment section, and I thought that it was a really good idea. So I started to make a video on it. Anyway, today, like I said, we are going to be comparing all of the swords that you can get from the minions. Now, how will I be ranking these? Well, pretty much one factor is obviously going to be damage. Which one does the most damage? Mostly, this is going to come in handy for the Pigmen, the Leaping, and the Emerald Blade because they are all very, very powerful and they also have some pretty unique abilities. Now, things like the Aspect of the End and also the Zombie Sword are going to be ranked pretty high because of their really cool abilities as well. With the Aspect of the End, you use it to teleport and I use that literally all the time. And also the zombie sword use it to heal it was actually one of the only things that you could use to heal a couple of updates ago before the slayer update came out of course with the slayer update they brought in a lot of different healing items so the zombie sword really isn't that great anymore although you can upgrade the zombie sword and make it an orante so i don't even know how to say it but uh yeah you can upgrade the zombie sword and make it even better all right so it's time to start ranking these and we're going to start off with the emerald blade now i'm putting the emerald blade with the s tier because the emerald blade has an extremely unique ability and it's it's also getting a buff within the upcoming updates. So the unique ability is a powerful blade made from pure emeralds. This blade becomes stronger as you carry more coins in your purse. Now with the last update that we received, basically the piggy bank is now acting as a saving grace. So if you do die, all of the coins in your purse will be saved and you won't have to worry about losing them. That makes the Emerald Blade extremely viable and allows people to really use this. I don't know how well it'll be used or how much more popular it'll be now, but realistically, you could run around with literally 100 million coins in your purse and not have to worry about losing them because of the piggy bank. Now, the next one is the Cleaver, which in my opinion is probably going to be the worst sword because it has the least damage out of all of these. And all of this is the effective damage I took from Midge's spreadsheet. So I'm just trying to base this off of the smallest or the easiest thing that I possibly could, which is effective damage. So that's how we're doing it with this. Uh, but yeah, the Cleaver is the worst in my opinion because the ability is literally the cleave enchantment I believe and basically what it is is when hitting an entity monsters in three block range will be hit for a portion of that damage too so pretty trash the damage is pretty trash and then you have the prismarine blade and that has 180 damage which is 39 more damage than the cleaver still not really that good and the ability sucks as well the ability is deals plus 200% damage while in water which is never really used and doesn't come in handy at all maybe for the abyss update which will probably come in another year that's probably when we might actually see this being used but for now this is complete trash and nobody ever uses any water combat at all next the pigment sword it's kind of obvious that this would go in the s rank and one reason is because the damage it has the most damage out of everything obviously the emerald blade though is definitely better than the pigment sword just because of the amount of damage you can actually reach but the pigment sword also has a really cool ability which gives you resistance one and attacks nearby enemies with a projectile dealing up to 1000 damage over five seconds if they all land now, I've never exactly seen the pigment sword in action, so I'm not 100% sure how this ability works, but dealing up to 1,000 damage over 5 seconds is pretty crazy, on top of having 735 effective damage, which is so much more than all the other ones. Now, 
Now, for the Leaping Sword, I'm going to have to put this in either the A or the B tier, just because the Leaping Sword honestly sucks. There is also an upgraded version of the Leaping Sword, which is literally super expensive and not that much better at all, but... Leaping Sword has 585 effective damage, which honestly is a little bit less than 200 from the Pigment Sword, but the ability is pretty trash as well in my opinion. The ability is leap into the air and deal 350 base magic damage to nearby enemies upon landing on the ground. Damage enemies will also be frozen for one second. Now, the frozen for one second is very interesting. It's a very cool mechanic. The thing is though, is that this mechanic is never used. Like maybe in dungeons, it'll be pretty cool for situations where you need to quickly get away or freeze an enemy to stop them from killing other people but at this point in the game you will literally never actually use the ability just for that specific thing alone and also 350 base magic damage isn't really that crazy so that's why we're going to put leaping sword with a now for the instant sword i really don't know much about it at all and it does one of the least damages out of all of the other swords especially compared to the silver fang let's go with the silver fang first because the silver fang is a really 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 good starter weapon honestly it's super cheap it does a ton of damage and honestly it can carry you all the way from the beginning game all the way up to the end like combat level 11 or whatever it is when you unlock the end i probably wouldn't be using this for killing zealots i think i would switch to the ember rod from the magma cube boss but still this can carry you pretty far and is really really cheap so i'm gonna put that with i'm gonna put that c just because it is very mid slash early game now with the endstone sword it has 213 damage compared to the silver fang with 250 damage but the endstone sword consumes all of your remaining mana to grant damage resistance for five seconds and extra damage on your next hit now the damage depends on how much mana was consumed so honestly the sword isn't explained that well it doesn't really say how much damage it'll actually do so Honestly, I'll put this right next to the Silver Fang just because it seems like it has the potential to do a lot more damage than the Silver Fang considering your mana, but at the same time, this is a mid-game sword, so realistically, how much mana would you honestly have? Probably not that much at all, so this is definitely going to be below the Silver Fang, but we'll still put it at C. Now, the Aspect of the End has a 435 effective damage, which is over 100 less than the Leaping Sword. The only thing is about the Aspect of the End, I'm going to have to put it at A, just simply because the Aspect of the End is so nice. Since I have the Wise Armor, I'm literally always using this thing just to travel around the map because I'm way too lazy to walk around and do that stuff myself. So I'll literally just use this weapon just to fly around the map, and I really like it because of the ability and it literally allows you just to teleport anywhere i don't think i've gone a single day without having the aspect of the end in my hot bar honestly and i feel like that's probably the same for a lot of people now the final two is the zombie sword and also the golem sword now the golem sword has an effective damage of 423 comparing that to the silver fang that's uh that's a little bit less than 200 more now the ability isn't anything crazy, it punches the ground, damaging enemies in a hexagon around you for 250 base magical damage. Once again, the ability kind of sucks and the damage isn't too crazy, and it also is really expensive, like 200k from the auction house, and takes a long time to craft from minions. In my opinion, you could really just use this silver fang to carry you from early game to mid game, and then just buy an ember rod from the magma boss from the auction house, and that would probably be better than the golem sword, but since the golem sword does do a lot of damage, I kind of feel like it makes me want to put this in the b slot or even in the c slot i don't know it's really hard decision to make but just because of the damage maybe i will kind of ignore how long it takes and also how much it costs i guess we'll throw that up with the b now the zombie sword extremely expensive for one and it also takes forever to craft if you use zombie minions i think the zombie sword might cost i don't want to say a million because i honestly can't remember but i want to say around 900k which once again i could be wrong about that i crafted my zombie sword over a month ago so i realistically don't know how much it actually cost me but the effect of damage is 338 which is a little a little bit better than the silver fang not much at all and it the ability is really cool though the ability is really unique and honestly it used to be so much better before it got nerfed and also it was way better before the slayer update came out when this was literally the only item you could use to actually heal yourself now that the slayer update came out we have so many other things that we can use to heal ourselves the zombie sword has kind of fallen in places and it's not really as good as it used to be so the zombie sword i'm gonna have a hard choice between putting at b or c just because the zombie sword really isn't as popular as it used to be like if the slayer update never came out i definitely would have had an easy way to put this at even a maybe because i would always be using this to heal myself but 
I really might have to drop this down to C just because it really isn't that great anymore. Although I don't know, comparing the damage between the Silver Fang, the Enstowed Sword, and the Zombie Sword, it kind of makes me want to put this with the Golem Sword. It kind of makes more sense, at least with the damage wise and everything like that. And also the ability is way better than the Silver Fang or the Enstowed Sword. So I think we're going to just kind of leave it like this. I think this is the best list that I could have possibly made. And I think this is going to be my final thoughts on it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end the video off here. If you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see some more videos like this, make sure you guys smash that like button. If you guys are also new around here and you guys really enjoy Skyblock content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to leave me a comment and tell me how you would change up my tier list and what your rankings would be, I'm really curious and would really want to know. So leave me a comment down below with that as well. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.